So recently there was a huge shakeup in the Etsy sellers community because Etsy shops were getting shut down and now people are leaving the platform. They're running from the platform. But today I want to discuss why this is actually a good thing for us, the ones that stay that is, and how to succeed on Etsy now and in 2024 and beyond. So what happened? Why were people getting banned and their accounts being shut down? Well, the rumor was that people were getting shut down because the third party mockups that they were using, that was the reason they were getting banned. Well, I started to try and think about this logically. And I was like, you know, let's use some good old fashioned common sense. Why would Etsy care unless they were getting complaints from customers receiving the product and it not being what they saw in the picture? Maybe what was happening was Etsy shops were using mockups of products that were similar, but not the exact products. Etsy clearly says in their terms of service that your product images must be of the exact product. So if you buy a mock-up from a third party, it must be of the exact product, which they exist by the way. Now we did actually email Etsy and they surprisingly got back to us and confirmed what my good old fashioned common sense was telling me in the first place. They basically said, you can use mock-ups but they must be of the exact product that you are selling. I personally am convinced that it's not a mock-up issue. It actually is Etsy living up to what they stated recently on how they were going to be cracking down on sellers who are infringing on trademarks and copying other sellers' designs. Now, I know what you're probably thinking right now, and that is, well, Scott, I see a ton of Etsy sellers selling Disney and Barbie and Taylor Swift and a whole bunch of other trademark products. And guess what? You're 100% right. But that doesn't mean that it's okay. And it's just gonna be a matter of time before they get shut down too. So I really believe that the reason why people have been getting shut down lately is due to Etsy getting more strict and now enforcing it. Some say that the reason for all the suspensions is due to an Etsy AI bot gone wild, scraping products that are violating trademarks and various other violations. And you know what? Maybe that's true. Maybe they have the AI Etsy bot going crazy, but you know how to protect yourself from this crazy AI bot? Create unique products of your own. Make sure the images you use in your listings are the product you're selling and focus on supporting your customers. That's exactly what we've been doing all along and we're going to continue moving forward. Whew, all right. That was a lot and I'm glad that we got that out of the way, but let's now talk about how Etsy sellers can actually benefit from this craziness. First off, Etsy sellers are leaving. That's a fact and that means there will be less competition for you and for me. Actually, I'm assuming that you're gonna stay. Let me know in the comments, are you gonna stay or are you quitting Etsy? Let me know in the comments. But the fact is, Etsy sellers are leaving and that means less competition, which allows you to stand out and sell more of your products on a regular basis. Once again, a little common sense, right? Now, you're also going to have less people trying to rank for your keywords, so you're going to get more traffic. You're also going to have less people running Etsy ads, which means you're probably gonna pay less to advertise. So going back to that good old fashioned common sense that my father taught me years ago, well, less competition means a bigger opportunity for the ones that stay on the platform. Now, I am not saying by any stretch of the imagination that Etsy is perfect, and if you play by the rules, you will be 100% safe. I'm not saying that because that's not true. Why? because Etsy's a platform and they own it and they're just letting us get access to their traffic and their customers. They're allowing us to sell on their platform. If you think about it this way, you're basically playing on their playground. And if they don't want you to play anymore, they can just ask you to leave or they can actually kick you out and just lock the gate behind you. So the question is, what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, there's one thing that all serious Etsy sellers should be doing, and that is building your own email list. I've been saying this for years, on any platform that you're selling on, you must have your own email list. Well, there's good news, because now Etsy allows us sellers to build an email list to market our products to. Now, there is a rumor out there that Etsy doesn't allow this, but in fact, they actually recommend it and encourage you to build an email list and send emails to drive traffic back to your shop. 
Heck, they even created a program recently called Share and Save, where when you drive your own traffic using things like email, they are going to give you 4% back from your Etsy fees. Here's an example from the last 30 days where we were able to generate an extra $3,015 from sending emails. And look at that. We saved $120 in fees. Once again, this is something that Etsy is encouraging us to do and they're rewarding us for it. Now they do have rules that you have to follow like any other platform, but basically you just have to get the customer's permission and then you can email them. Up until now, there was only one email tool that Etsy was integrated with and that was Aweber. And the problem is that Aweber is an email marketing tool for all kinds of businesses. It's not just built for the Etsy seller in mind. Aweber is also super hard to use for the average person, which is why not a lot of Etsy sellers use the integration. It's hard and it's confusing. But now there's an easier way and I am so excited about this because Everbee just released their very own email tool built specifically for Etsy sellers. It's a simple tool to use to email for shops. They made it super easy to connect and start building your email list with built-in templates, which is really cool. Plus, they have done something that Aweber missed and is a huge, huge opportunity for Etsy sellers. They basically built in an automated review getting sequence that every customer will go through. It's like having a customer support person you hire, but you don't actually hire this person, and you get to send emails to your customers and follow up. So imagine being able to email your customer once an order has been placed, and then you introduce yourself to let them know you received the order. Now in this first email, you're also going to get a chance to let them know about your email list where they can sign up and get future discounts and specials. We call this our VIP club, and you know as well as I do, people love being part of a club, right? Now imagine this, the order gets shipped, and now your customer gets another email from you letting them know that it's been shipped, and to remind them about your VIP club. This is also a great time to let them know that when they receive their order, if there's anything wrong, to let you know, because, well, your number one goal as an Etsy shop owner is to make sure that all your customers are over the moon happy. Now, I want you to think about these as little touch points that are building trust along the way. And this also is an opportunity to remind them to join your email list. Plus, when you are this active in building trust on a regular basis, your chances for people to leave reviews increases dramatically. Then, after that email gets sent out, as soon as the item is delivered, you have the option to send out another email. Now, this is completely synced up with your Etsy shop, and it's triggered when the item is ordered, shipped, and delivered. Now, let me just call a quick little timeout. I wanna make sure that I'm clear on this. This is all automated, and inside of Everbee, once you set this up once, you just let it run and watch your email list grow and the amount of five-star reviews that you're going to start receiving. You just watch them come in, which by the way, getting more reviews will most likely increase sales conversions because people buy from people they trust. You do, I do. It's human nature. It's how we're wired. Everyone knows reviews are a huge conversion booster. And once again, you can separate yourself from the competition by getting more reviews. Let's imagine your competition has 100 reviews and you have, uh, let's say a thousand. Who do you think people are gonna feel more comfortable buying from? Probably the one with a thousand reviews, right? And now we can have our own automated machine that builds trust, builds our email list, and it adds more reviews on a regular basis. And once again, did I say this is automated? I think I did, it's automated. Now, after that third email is sent, you also have the option to send a fourth email and it's the final email in this sequence and this is really there to check in with your customer after they've received the item and just see if they're enjoying it after they have had it for a little bit of time now in this email this is where you would ask for a small little favor and this is where you would say that you would like them to leave you a review and let others know how their experience was and how they enjoyed the product i usually say something like this in the email Reviews mean the world to a small business like us, and we'd love it if you'd leave us one. And then I put a little smiley face there. If for some reason you don't feel like we did a good job, let us know because we will do whatever it takes to make sure you are 100% 
happy. Do you see how I added in there small business and we want to make sure that you're happy, which is true by the way, but we want them to know that we are real people and this goes a long way. Oh, and did I mention that this is automated inside of the Everbee email? I'm telling you right now, this is so, so powerful. Now, if you wanna start building your own email list and get more reviews, go to emailforshops.com. Again, that's emailforshops.com. And you will get a special discount for the first two months. Now, you can literally, literally have this set up in a matter of minutes. And once again, this will separate you from the competition because no one else is doing it right now. So let's just go back to where we started. Are Etsy sellers leaving and running away from the platform? Absolutely, yes. But I really feel like right now, that leaves a ton of opportunity for us. And I really believe the ones that stay will reap the benefits. And I'll tell you what, I'm staying. But like I said, you still want to protect yourself. And the first way to do this is by building your own email list, which is easier now than ever when you use Everbee email. And again, you can get started by going to emailforshops.com and get this thing rolling. Get it going now. But the next question you might have is, Scott, how do you use the email list to sell more of your products? And that's a great question. And don't worry, I've got you covered because I shot this video right here where I share a case study on how I sent one email to my list and I had four sales in six minutes from writing one email. Watch this video next and I'll see you there.